Hi, my name is Sale Lilly. I work on Asia Pacific policy, but also war game and crisis simulation design. And I'm here at USIP uh, to support uh, the design of a peace game. I think it's important to be able to examine uh, foreign policy crises or natural disasters before they actually happen. So with the luxury of time, crisis simulations have a lot of utility in being able to take time to think through ideas or crises well before they happen. So you can, in some ways, suss out or consider what are some of the big thoughts or ideas that you would want to know about before you walk into the crisis or simulation. I think we know from having simulated a lot of political crises or humanitarian disaster response cases that in the moment organizations don't have time to revise or suddenly change policy. And so in a, in a no notice crisis or disaster, you would want to be able to at least have policies or personnel in place who are best represented to respond to those crises. Games or simulations give you a way or element to test those well before the crises happen. So it's a piece of preparedness, and I think that's the key utility of being able to leverage or use simulations, games, to think through those. Ideally, you have participants who, who will, in real life, have some piece or role in responding to a crisis or a disaster. And so in designing, in designing games or simulations, your inv invitee list is an important piece of making sure that you have the right participants so they can actually provide novel or authentic information, how they'd respond to the, ac uh, the actions or how they'd respond to a crisis. In some cases, it's also important to, to invite participants or players who might not be responding, but they do have an organizational role in deciding how their, org their organizations are staffed, who they've hired, um, and how they might react or respond. So I think in disaster planning or uh, disaster simulation, the first responders themselves might have many rehearsals or repetitions, but their senior managers or their organizational leaders who either by political appointees or just through rotation and staff might only be in that role for one to two years at a time. A game without knowing whether or not there's going to be a real crisis in that two-year window is a great way to introduce a new leader to a role, whether they're responding or not, so that they we can think through whether or not they have the right people in place, are they funded at the right levels, and do they have the right material assets to respond to a crisis, whether that be natural disaster or man-made political crises that might also have some sort of security or military tension. One way of exercise design is called synthetic design, where you attempt to take a previous experience, like a major economic world crisis in 2008, lift a lot of the details about what actually happened in that case, what, ha what was happening in global trading, what was the impact on poverty levels, and then transplant them to a new time. You may make some adjustments about the countries they happen with or who's being affected, but that's one way to design a more authentic game partly in case where, where actors or, or uh, participants are sort of questioning the authenticity. It's easy to point back and say, hey, these things really did happen. We're just moving the details forward, but this is actually something that happened in the world. And we can take co some confidence in having participants and role players accept those new facts and react to them, knowing that, that real policymakers had to actually contend with these issues. In particular, simulations or crises, especially those for, that are involving disaster response with tactical or very technical details for response, role players or actors will try to simulate either wounds, injuries, perhaps uh, uh, simulate how actual first responders would be interacting, whether that's over a phone call or in actual live situations. But all of those are different pieces that help make for a simulation or a crisis feel authentic and get better results from the players, which ultimately leads to better data and ideally a better outcome when you're preparing for the next crisis or simulation.